Hi, and this is um, question number three, part B for the design, blueprint design and delivery for the MSP practitioner practice paper review session. So we're going to look at some statements here, looking at the processes in the blueprint design. And if you notice the two questions in here, which only got two questions because there are two marks in here, talk about processes and information. Remember, this forms uh, two out of the uh, acronym from POTI, P-O-T-I, the Processes, Organization, Technology, and Information. And obviously what they want to do is look at what's under these particular headers. So the best thing to do would be to go to the uh, manual under the chapter, looking at the blueprint um, section, the blueprint design and delivery, and look at the potty model just to remind yourself what should be in each state if you're not quite certain. So, uh, secondly to note, there is no other information in here from a bold point of view to point you anywhere else like the um, scenario. You don't need that or any additional information. However, it does say each question includes true statements. So there are true statements down here. Once again, don't go looking for them, but they are true facts and therefore you take them as they are. Like it's extra information really for the question instead of putting it into a scenario point or part of the, the, the uh, paper. Uh, and you notice it keeps repeating itself, two statements, two answers, two statements. And you have five answer statements. So that's a pretty good clue you need two bullets. So don't forget that because when you're going through it here, we need to select two as we're going to do right now. So we're going to look at two statements that include the final future state section of the blueprint and the processes, right? So what we're going to look at is what would like to be in place from models, operations, um, operating costs and performances, etc. So let's have a look at those things and see what comes under, what we expect to see in the final future state, right? So firstly, Training is provided through a variety of methods, including distance learning. Well, this is exactly what we're talking about, uh, what the new business model would be and how we expect to see uh, the end state being really part of the vision of this whole program, uh, transformational change. So that looks like a pretty good statement. Um, B, the revised working practice for science science will be, de will be developed by a team of experts. Uh, well, this is actually about how uh, some developers part of the solution will be produced by the different resources and this would actually be captured in the resource management strategy uh, not in the blueprint under the processes uh, so b is definitely out uh, c staff will consider non-residential uh, <coughs> general practice well their sort of views and opinions and feedbacks would be the organization side of things where it says, you know, structured staffing levels, roles, skills, etc., and supply chains. And these things are all part of the organization part of the potty approach. So that's not correct. Uh, D, the business change team will review the expected increase in the proportion of staff members after tranche three. Well, this is looking at the benefits side of things. So that would be a benefits review and linked to the management strategy about how we would expect to measure that and the benefits realization plan when we would be expecting to do those measurements. So that's all linked to other set of documents and therefore not uh, this particular one. Uh, finally, E, which is the only one we have left, 5% of the training is carried out through outsourcing. Well, outsourcing is also part of where we expect to see uh, how we're going to do the training in the new, the new state and therefore that is definitely going to be another answer that we need to have. Therefore, the answers from here are going to be A and E. Now, looks at the information, what the details you would have underneath the information. You know, it's about operations, measurements, performances, etc. So, let's have a look and see what we have in here. So, firstly, instructions for operating the new business system will be presented in the form of a process flow. Well, this is something actually to do with the processes. That's why it's called process flow. So this is not a correct answer that we would see underneath the information. It's about the process flow itself and how uh, it would work. Uh, B, statistics from customer satisfaction sur surveys will be sorted by region. Well, that's certainly something we need to look at for things like performance measurements 
um, the form which is based around customer satisfactions, as well as how is the transformation change taking place, new vision. Uh, so that will definitely be under information. C, target operating costs of the training center are planned to be below an industry average. Uh, now, that's more of a process uh, set of information that we would see under the blueprint. Right? So there's other operating models and costs. Remember, that was part of what we would describe in the processes section. So that's not correct. So let's look at D. Results of analysts of training records for each member of staff. Well, that's very similar to what we're doing here. B, <coughs> looking at feedback and reviews, etc. And looking at performances and so forth. So that would actually also be in the information, because that's what it is, it's information results. Finally, uh, peer reviews will be used to uh, assess staff performance. Following completion, well, peer reviews will be used to assess. Again, this is something we're going to do from a process point of view, and therefore not including information. The results are going to be different, but in this case, it's looking at how the process will take place. So again, E is not correct. So the answers here are B and D. And hopefully you've selected those two. Sorry, B and D in fact. Well, I said B. B, uh, Belter, uh, Baker and Delta. Any concerns with any of the answers? Not still quite sure why they're the right ones and the ones aren't. I do review through the, uh, um, the design, as it says, the blueprint design delivery section uh, chapter on that theme. And look at the potty descriptions again for the processes, the organization, the excuse me, the technology and the information sections to understand what's in there. Or contact a tutor for a bit of further clarification. <laughs> for further clarification if required. <laughs> Thank you.